Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlicker shields, death slay, stars, peasants, vassals, meat sacks. I'm useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's go back to the uh, good old USA. And uh, I'm finally going to weigh in on this whole thing with the Supreme Court justices. And uh, it's, it, as one would suspect, um, it's become quite a spectacle. And uh, we get all the, the very predictable dialogue coming out of the both the left and the right. And uh, I have no I have no horse in this race because uh, when either side starts discussing these uh, uh, Supreme Court justices as if they're activist judges, only if you're a conservative and they appoint a liberal, and only a, uh, if you're a liberal and they appoint a conservative. Um, so, of course, for me, all um, um, Supreme Court justices are activists. And uh, so if they, they end up uh, having a, a stalemate in the Supreme Court justice, then maybe they'll do less harm to the United States, kind of like Congress when there's a constant gridlock and they can't get anything done. At least uh, the, the country gets a breather uh, from being uh, further damaged by the efforts of, of Congress and, uh, and, and in this case the Supreme Court. Uh, the Supreme Court it, uh, seems like it's uh, uh, been uh, distorted uh, certainly during my lifetime where we've gotten to the point now where uh, most of the decisions that seem to come out of the uh, Supreme Court are activist and political in nature whether it's the Citizens United uh, decision or the uh, uh, deciding the election between Gore and Bush and uh, and other, all, all sorts of other uh, things that uh, we've seen in recent years and uh, so anyway that's that's kind of how I feel about that but I think what's more uh, fascinating to me is just to see uh, the bullshit up close uh, this uh, this dog and pony show that we we always get from uh, the Dem Publicans and the Republicrats uh, and my longtime viewers remember that my phrase, uh, two, cheeks, uh, two cheeks on one ass and they both stink. That's the Dem Publicans and the Republicrats. And uh, we're getting a full dose of that now because the funniest thing to me about this whole thing with the, the Supreme Court Justice is all the hypocrisy. And uh, as we know, hypocrisy is the coin of the realm as far as Washington, D.C. is concerned and certainly as far as politicians are concerned. So we start off with uh, all the horseshit coming out of uh, Mark Rubio and Ted Cruz uh, during the debates about uh, this tradition of uh, appointing uh, Supreme Court justices. You know, it's long tradition going back 80 years where presidents just don't uh, make these appointments when they're lame ducks or in the last year of their uh, office. And, um, and Rubio and Cruz have uh, 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 hounded on this point. And uh, it's just not true. So the, the can of worms gets open there, but the best part, even the best part, and this is all attached below, is, is all the contradictions in spite of all this revisionist history, in spite of all this politicking, in spite of all this bullshit. Uh, we have uh, President Obama uh, contradicting uh, statements he made about these judicial nominations, uh, contradicting his own point of view when, of course, he was a senator. And uh, so this proves that uh, uh, not only is uh, Obama a hypocritical asshole, but uh, he, he belongs to a giant club of hypocritical assholes that includes a, a lot of people's heroes. Because we also have Joe Biden on uh, record stating in 1992 that he also uh, wanted Bush Sr. to wait until after the election to, to make an appointment. And, uh, and so uh, Joe Biden gets to flip-flop. But of course, Joe Biden flip-flops on just about everything. So we, we can just add this to his record of flip-flopping uh, for many decades. Uh, but boy, the worst one is uh, Ronald Reagan. There we have Ronald Reagan on, in 1987 saying that it is his duty uh, to uh, appoint a Supreme Court justice. And uh, so uh, we have all these different examples that uh, basically add up to one thing, uh, as usual. And, and one of my favorite uh, bottom lines as far as American politics are concerned, and that's that the uh, Republicans and the Republicrats are both full of shit. They're both hypocrites, and uh, this this show that they put on is just getting old. But I'm kidding. Actually, it's going to be fun for a few more laughs, I'm sure, for many years to come. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too.